Yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy Solitize. As you can see by the title and thumbnail, I'm going to be showing you guys how to instantly improve 10 times faster. You guys already know how I play from the first clip that you saw, so let's get straight into it. By the way, if you guys have any extra tips to help others out, please feel free to drop a comment down below to make this video as helpful as possible. So before we get into the in-game steps to improve fast, I need to make sure you guys have the absolute best settings imaginable. I play 1920 by 1080 which is the native res for Fortnite but I do recommend playing on stressed res if your PC is dog shit. Alright so if you're on a bad PC I do recommend playing on performance mode with low meshes but if you have a decent PC I would recommend high meshes but for me I want the most FPS and least delay possible and I don't really care about the quality of the game so I do play on low meshes. The next thing I want to talk about are your game settings over here. So I do recommend if you're on keyboard and mouse, if you don't use double edit binds to have auto confirm edits set to only edits. But if you are on controller, you need to have this set to both to increase your speed by three times. All right, now scroll all the way down to the bottom. Make sure you have all replay mode off if you guys do play creative only and you're not a comp player, but I have my replays on because I do like getting cinematics. And then down here where it says energy saving, make sure both of these are turned off. These increase your delay by a shit ton. The next thing I want to talk about are your HUD settings. These are all personal preference, but if you do want to copy mine, I'm going to go ahead and scroll through this. You can pause if you like. All right, when it comes to the sensitivity, I have the most universal sensitivity no matter how long you've been playing Fortnite. This sense is considered a mid-range sensitivity, which allows most players to have insanely fast edits as well as great aim. Now, when you look down here, you can see my double movement settings. Double movement is an absolute must if you want to improve. And I have the best settings that every pro uses. If you think you have better double movement settings, please comment them down below. But my settings are 63 for a forward diagonal angle then 76 for strafe angle the backwards angle is going to be 135 you have to have double movement now i'm going to head over to my binds i have the most optimal key binds for fortnite these binds allow you to edit jump shoot and do everything while still using wasd without removing your fingers off any of your movement keys i'm going to scroll through these real quick you guys can go ahead and pause the video if you'd like to get the rest of my binds The first step to improving is mastering your warm-up routine. A warm-up routine is basically the first thing you're going to want to do every time you get on. A lot of people just load up the game and hop straight into ranked and then die off spawn. Warming up every day is extremely beneficial. The first part of your routine should always be free building. I found the best map with no delay as well as movement speed changes. You should always free build for around 15 to 20 minutes. Time can vary depending on how fast you feel. But the code for this map is on the screen right here as well as in the description down below. When you're free building, I highly recommend playing on this map because of the movement speed. This plays a huge role in my improvement journey. I always start off with 0.8 speed so I can practice my crosshair placement and movement. As you can see, I'm free building on this speed and I can take my time to have precise crosshair placement and have the perfect movement. Once you feel comfortable enough free building on 0.8 speed, I highly recommend you going up all the way up to 1.2 and then going back down to the normal speed so normal feels slow to you and you can master everything. After my builds for warmed up, I like to hop into some realistic 1v1s to warm up my piece as well as my aim. Here are some highlights of that. Yep, your fat ass don't get off the game. Alright, that'll be all the tips I have for you guys today. But if anything did help you, and I mean literally anything, I'm going to need you guys to go ahead and... Alright, that's going to be it for this video, and if any of the tips that I mentioned in the video did help you guys out in any way, shape, or form, I'm going to need you to hit that subscribe button and consider using my supporter creator code GAZR in the Fortnite item shop. That will help me out in a stupendous way. I really do appreciate you guys. Enjoy your day.